Oh. We're in a church. Oh. Oh. Right. So that means we, we did could... this so we could remove a uh, low self esteem. Let's remove a self esteem. Please, church, let me keep no more uses allowed. You rude church. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I think we failed every single RNG thing we possibly could have. I don't right. like that generally in games where it's just like, oh, you failed, here's the bad results. Mulmer is awakening. The obelisk is in sight, but something very dangerous is blocking the way. Mulmer, an old treant once known as the protector of Senenthia Forest, has awakened and been taken by the energy emanating from the now active obelisk. Beside Mulmer, there is a trunky and a dryad protecting him. You can't see any way to avoid the confrontation, but maybe you can make the fight easier, or worse, depending on how you approach him. I... RNG says if we do anything apart from just attack him, we... it goes badly for us. Yeah, also trying to rest behind the tree before attacking doesn't seem good. We also don't need it. Mm-hmm. Engage him quickly to catch him off guard. Without hesitation, you draw your weapons and rush at him. Gaining a small movement advantage. Oh, so maybe we just have better a initiative. Speed bonus. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's huge. He big. He is a tree. I really like them. I like the teals mm -hmm. with the purpley gray. All right. So should I use Trace on anyone? Probably Evelyn. Evelyn. Hmm. I'd get rid of the elemental ward. Yeah, I like and... the other ones. Oh, okay. Okay, now I have... Should I use the Adrenaline? Yeah, it's always a net gain. Mm -hmm. And it gets it out of your deck. Should I try targeting the Dryad first? Yeah. I don't believe he's supposed to be summoning more because they just said that a Trunky and a Dryad were yeah. standing with him. We'll see. Okay, I'll should I do a, a slice? Uh, no, I'd probably just aim shot the Dryad and aim shot the just dryad. save the rest of your juice for the next round. Yeah. Because, unfortunately, the slice would only target the Trunky. Now, what does Vulnerable do for them? Uh, it reduces their resistances by 10%, so if you click on an enemy, you can see their character sheet. And you can see that Trunky is pretty resistant to almost everything. Mm hmm Oh. Music has picked up. It has. So Curse of Elements? Yeah, I'd do Curse of Elements and a pair of charged batteries. Just get her zapped up. Mm-hmm. Low self-esteem. Feels bad. Holy crap, how much energy do I have? I guess they started with a bunch. Those termites, they bounce about, don't they? Now here's the problem. Yolmer does like four things. Uh, mm hmm He's not that the scary yet. Makes me stronger. Poison dart. Poison dart. I really like that poison dart pouch. I just hit her with the 17 aim shot. Mm -hmm. And then probably slice. Like, start going for the front guy. Really? I shouldn't kill her? She could heal someone. Though I suppose... Yeah, no, no, no. Kill her. Kill her with an aim shot. Because no one else is going to get the chance to hit her. And then I can still slice. I'd wait. Because uh. Uh, we currently don't have any block. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, he, yeah, he has thorns on him. That wouldn't be good. Yeah, because this way I can intercept a couple of times. And then... Oh, this is perfect. There we go. Oh, yeah, all armored up. Manage him. Charge battery. Who should I do that on? Uh, I'd honestly start doing it on the treant. The big guy? Yeah, because you want to start stacking that as much as possible. The front guy is annoying. Oh, oh and zap the upgraded the zap lets you choose. I keep hitting the treant. Okay. And then should I put a ward on anyone? Also, 
when did it become Metal? some kind of rock? I don't yeah. know. The soundtrack on this is actually kind of not bad. Should I put a ward on Magnus or someone I, else? I put it on. Um, I put it Andrin? on Andrin. Andrin. Yeah, he, he's a little bit squishier. Yeah, he's a little squishier. And look at her. She has. Be... She has so much energy. Mm-hmm. Evelyn. some reason I'm trying to think of treant and wood puns and such. And I'm just thinking that Gilmer has more bark than bite. Though he has quite no, the sizable got, mouth. He, he's got some bite. He has the, quite the sizable mouth. I feel mouth. bitten. <laughs> Though I know that for bark and bite, it's really for dogs that bark a lot but are actually not that tough okay so you've got a ton of energy yeah um, should me, i just i frostbolt? would say yeah i would say frostbolt just deletes treants and then transmission andron Okay. Now we're still in green territory. I suppose we're allowed more rounds. Yeah, because it's a boss fight. Mm -hmm. Now, do they have flames over the HP bars of just bosses? Or... I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, Ilmer. Flower stream. Moon catalyst. All right. Well, I can have toxic rain go on. Yeah, I'd, I'd start with that. So you're probably going to want to do camouflage and then explosive shot when you get what a chance. What about deflect? Yeah, you might as well do deflect now. There's no reason not to. So nope. Cam Hit the other deflect. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize I had drawn another one. Yep. And uh, then sprint. Sprint. I like his zero abilities. Yeah, and then so camouflage. I, yeah, I'd probably do a camouflage. And then the explosive shot. Or the frost shot, considering he has so much frost on him. So... You can see how much each is going to do. So the frost shot... Uh. So 14 plus 2 plus 8... Yeah, so it'll clear the boss's shields. I would... I would... Hot take, i do aim shot on the front... Uh, maybe not. Because mm. at this point, we should probably kill the other Trunky. We should kill the you Trunky You don't want to because... hit the Treant, because he's got 14 shields that's about to expire at the end of the round. Uh, mm -hmm. Um. So you're, you're better off just hitting the Trunky. Uh, so scroll between ice shot, aim shot, and explosive shot. What does the most amount of damage to him? So, so 19, 13, 14, That's a lot. and 30. I don't know. I'd say the explosive shot might be worth it. Mm hmm Because you might even be able to kill him. I could potentially kill him right here and now, hold right? It, no, that's up. 10. 8. I'd just hit him with the slice, actually. Not the aim shot. The slice? Yeah. Because Magnus will probably get another hit. And this way you can serve some energy. Because Magnus can't... Oh, actually you go first. Oh, well, it was so quick, right? Uh, so I'd hit him with a slice. Just a slice. Yeah. And, and then, then should I Hunter's Mark? Yeah. Poison dart? Yep. Aim shot. Might as well. Okay, so what is he up to? He's healing himself, applying thorns. He is summoning some tainted saplings. Oh, so the saplings are... Hmm. 
Although I'm curious about that one character sheet. So he is immune to bleed and paralyze. So rend is kind of meaningless. Actually, he's not attacking, is he? Uh, no, he is. He's attacking for 12. And I can't block for anybody else. All right. Everyone's on their own. I Okay. I just have zaps and elemental wards. Yeah, so I'd honestly just zap and save your energy for big hits. Yeah, because he still has a lot of frost on him. Putting up barriers. Might as well. Yep. Offset some of the damage we're about to take. Not that it's too much, but... Now, is Yulmer always the boss at this obelisk? Probably. Maybe not. You mean you've never faced no. him before? Like I said, uh, all of our runs have gotten further than I ever have. Really? Yep. Do you think that's just because of multiplayer, or do you think it's well, I, because of... So I gave up kind of quickly uh, when I was playing the demo, because like the run went for an hour. Now, should I try destroying the saplings or just nah. go for Yulmer? Go for Yulmer. Because Yulmer's going to just keep summoning them anyway. Should I do poisonous shot? Yeah, yeah. And then the higher aim shot. Hmm. Should I just fling Frostbolt? Oh no, he doesn't have any frost on him now. So I would say. He, do do, maybe, he does have charge battery. For, yeah, do maybe like, charge wet. battery, big frost bolt, and then transmission. Because transmission, once you've used it, it's gone. Should I do that on um, Andrin again? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Interesting how you have the very defensive, healing, buffing characters. Uh, yeah. I have the damage dealing. I characters. did that somewhat um, voluntarily. I I guess it's one of those where I feel like most people would perceive uh, those as kind of the boring roles, and so I will gladly take them. <laughs> I do kind of the Wait, same. I was thing. choosing based on character appearance. I knew you probably wanted to be the wolf. Ow. Uh -huh. Yes, indeed. All lower than 50% health. What the hell was that? This isn't good. Moonbeam. Yeah, moonbeam, of course. Oh, no. You see, they're going to send termites after us. Those little buggers. Yeah. All right. Uh, the problem is I have so many slices. So I would, I would trace Magnus. Magnus? Yeah. Magnus Trace. Because I want to get rid of some of these things. Mm -hmm. um, Should I do an ice shot? I shot the boss. Uh, no, 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 no. I'd slice up the front, uh, the front dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Because you, you can just outright kill him with three slices. But I could. And I still have enough for an air aim shot. Unless you want me to save stuff. Yeah, I'd save it. Oh, look at poor Andrin. He needs healing. Yep. Yeah, we we were doing okay up until Moonbeam. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Just more zaps? Yeah. Oh, right, Curse of the Elements first. Ah, uh, right, right. Oh, stop. Mm hmm Oh, he's thorning you. Oh, no. D she wasn't protected Correct. like everyone else. Well, oh. she was, but you burnt through it because he had a ton of thorns. Oh, I see. That's why she's nearly dead. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay, so I should just end my turn then? Yeah. 
because they both have thorns. So who are you going to heal then? Andrin or Evelyn? I'll see what I can do. So I'm probably going to heal Evelyn here. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly just because Andrin is currently protected. Uh, let's see. Hit. It doesn't look like he's moonbeaming us. He is doing the group hit. Rain of Thorns. I just... Yeah. It's it's very but much the kind of roguelike that we're supposed to do this until we get buff enough and good enough cards. Tankerous Tree. One player disconnected. The game will close now. What? No. How? Why? I'm perfectly fine. What's going on? Is this you? I... no? Well, you might as well just escape and see what happens. That's frustrating. I... I'm perfectly... It is early access. I'm perfectly fine! Yeah, same here. Like, we're both wired in. I... it's a blip on their matchmaking server. Or, like, whatever it is. We like, were it's, it's a bug. almost done! Uh-huh. Almost... done! And only the master of the game can resign. I literally... You can't continue? Uh, nope. But well, you're the master. Yeah. So you can't even resign, even though you are the master. Yep. I'm the host. But... Game bugged out. All like, right. Uh... Well, is what it is. Thanks for watching, everybody. We might come back to this in a week or two. We were that's so close. Crushing. I might do a couple of solo runs where I don't have to worry about that, but yeah, losing losing connection right in the middle of a boss fight with no... They need to add the ability to reconnect to a session because there's no reason why not to. I wouldn't even mind if they started us before the boss fight. Exactly. Just just allow us to get through the boss fight. Let me see if I can reload it because like, there's the potential that I can continue the run. I... They would be mad foolish if they didn't let you res resume a run in this, or at least, like, save Because every node that you complete should be a new... Nope. Maybe. Oh, here we go. And I can't join you on it? Uh, no, 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 no. You should be able to join. Okay, let me look. Join multiplayer game. No, 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 no. Why there's Wando and Brandon? I'm, I'm Wando. Then why am I Brandon? Wait, who's Brandon? Leave? No, those are just rooms. Just join Wando. Oh, 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 okay. Join? Yeah. And then the same password. So uh... I think we're good. I, I think we can continue. <laughs> so they did actually save. Boy. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Wait, do I have to upgrade stuff? Or am I okay? Where is it dropping us? That's the real question. Okay. At the very start. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, you know what? That actually kind of works out in our favor. Better than nothing. Yeah, and we're getting rolled. Okay, so who should I use Trace on? Evelyn? Probably. All right. Uh, so, stop. Mm -hmm. I would get rid of Frostbolt and the Elemental Ward. Really? Yeah. Okay. I suppose the, the Curse of the Elements and the Charge Battery are nice. Yeah. All right, adrenaline, poison dart, and then just, should I do an aim shot? Yeah. Really? I will say, unfortunately, this game is doing the one thing that I really do not like, uh, where status effects are too easy to clear. Mm. Let's see. Do I hit? Do I hit him? Nah. Yeah, because this way you can do Curse of Elements and then a pair of Charge Batteries, which doesn't do quite as much, but it gives you a lot more energy on the next round. Mm -hmm. And zaps them something fierce. And I, I shouldn't bother with wards right now? I don't or think should so. I? Okay, I'm going to turn down this music a little bit. 
Well, now I can't hear it at all. Wow. That is a massive disparity. Mm hmm. I mean, it was overwhelming before. Yeah. Hence why I was commenting on it. Uh, let's see. Heal Magnus. Go for a barrier on self, just cause. Mm hmm. Flower Shuriken. It's the silly name. Mm hmm. I mean, I suppose if it's stiff enough and the petals are, you know, they're, they're a little star. Mm -hmm. They're asters, I suppose. An aster would be a star-shaped flower. How much damage do your aim shots do against the dryad? Mm. 15. Uh, what's the other one? How much does the other one do? 13. So your two aim shots will kill the dryad. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's nice. And then I'd slice the trunky. And then I can poison dart yeah. someone. Should I just yeah. do the trunky? Or... Yeah, yeah, hit the trunky. Because, uh... I'm taking damage. Yeah, it's fine. The boss has way more thorns. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I think that went well. We've already eliminated the dryad. Yep. Which is... Faster well. than last time, I think. Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. Now we've got some shields. All right. Well, I have charged battery. Mm -hmm. Should I do it on the little guy? Yeah. Ooh, but frost bolt. Just everything? Throw yeah. it at him? Yeah, hit him with everything. Any elemental wards I should put up? Maybe at this point. Yeah, uh, do it on Andrin. Because in retrospect, shields are really helpful, especially on Antrin, because he He's acts gonna be before striking Magnus. The most. Mm -hmm. Who's the most hurt? I guess he is. Do we? Yeah. Well, never mind. That solves the whole Andrin going first thing. Because <laughs> he was ensnared. Yeah, what is that power up? Powerful. Damage and healing done plus 40%? Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, 5% per stack, which is brutal. Okay. You got seven. I'd say... Just frost bolts? I hit him with the big one. Use him with 13. Yeah, I'd hit him with uh, the next one. The zap isn't guaranteed, though. Might as well do it anyway. Hail Mary? Nope. Nope, not the and right then, one. I'd honestly... Maybe <laughs> Transmission Reginald. Just in the off chance that we can get a... Uh... A good card, yeah. Okay, flash kills. Let's see. Okay, he doesn't have any sprouts this time around. He'll summon them. In a round. Mm hmm. Oh, that's interesting. I, I suppose he had drawn at the outset. Yep, more of that moon power. Okay, so. Rain? Yeah, toxic rain. Camouflage or deflect? Deflect. Let's see what we get. Okay, so this is a toughie. Uh, because I could combo other things, or I could use the... The explosive shot, though, would be good for the saplings. So I would actually do Slice. Out. The Slice? Yeah, start with Slice. 
then camouflage. Do another deflect and sprint. Okay. I ugh. just more poison. Yeah, I go for the poison. Because then that just leaves him more stacks of poison. It'll whittle down a little bit. Not he much. does clear the stacks, which oh, is kind of I go again. Yeah, so be careful. He's got uh Hunter's he's mark? got some thorns. I should do Hunter's Mark. Yeah, so I do though. Hunter's Mark. Honestly, I would do There's no ice on him. Yeah, I would do slice. Poison dart again? Stop. No? No, he's got six thorns left. You've only oh, got I only three, have block. three blocks. So I would say aim shot and then stop. Or save your energy. Save your energy. Yeah, I, I suppose so. Because if I did the aim shot, I would still take damage, right? Correct. Yeah, you take three, which isn't so Terrible. bad. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to be summoning the little treant soon. Yeah, he is. Uh, should I do Curse of Elements? Yeah. Probably that. And then Zap. Mm -hmm. He has three stacks. And then I would Elemental Ward Andron. The back two are not protected. Uh, the problem is if you flash, you're going to get thorns. Shouldn't count for range damage. Yeah, but I'm trying to clear the clear the thorns. But I also agree with you. Mm -hmm. I feel like thorns should only trigger on melee because currently it's just a little strong. Mm -hmm. Sprint. Yeah. yeah. I should probably poison dart. Who should I poison dart? Probably, oh. the, probably oh, the boss. The boss, because he doesn't have any thorns right now. Yeah. So, Ooh. I would say you might want to explosive shot the middle guy. I'd take some damage, though. Only a little. And you have shields. I shouldn't slash. I would. You would? Yeah, we want to clear these guys. I don't know how long it takes uh, for him to resummon them. I guess these guys are also immune to bleed. Gosh, that really just does render Magnus completely worthless. Mm-hmm. Uh, battle? Yeah, uh, battery? Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably battery. The boss? Yeah. I was thinking the boss. Zip. And... I wouldn't do... Nah. Who should I ward? No one. No one? No one currently has any thorns. Except for, like, a little bit of that one guy. No, I mean warding us. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, so the elemental ward, I'm mostly using... You're using Magnus to defend instead? Yeah. Oh, you annihilated him from existence. Gives us a heal. Also makes us wet. Mm-hmm. Thank goodness we're not fighting for 15. electric or, what was it, ice? Yeah. That would be bad. Ylmer is alone. We don't have any foresight. So we can't see what he's up to. There's Moonbeam. Moonbeam! Ouch! Toxic rain? Yeah. He does have thorns. So hit the deflect. Yeah. Poison dart? No. No. So he's got nine thorns, which is rough. I'd only hit him with the stuff that really helps. There's poison shot slash or... I would actually do... <sighs> this also applies three more yeah, poison. Yeah, poisonous shot might not be terrible. Slice might... Yeah, no. I think this worked out. Okay. Barricade. Yep. Block. We're definitely going to need that. Okay. Intercept on her. Then punch. This is definitely going better than mm -hmm. previously. 
Okay, so he's got six. He, um, oh, six thorns. Yeah, so I would actually just do the frost bolt. This one? Yeah. And then transmission on Reginald. We need healing. Well, there's the foresight. And more flash heals. You get to draw more cards that way. Mm -hmm. A lot of very low cost cards. Yeah, I was reducing the cost of a lot of things. Ah. At least they gave you the option to. Okay. Uh oh. That's fine. You don't have a barrier anymore. He's not doing Moonbeam. He is going to do the Thorn Shot, though, which is rough. Ooh, the Reign of Thorns. Ouch. He doesn't have Thorns himself currently, though. Mm -mm. Well, then. Now, Trace. Should I put it on Evelyn or Reginald? Uh, can you put it on Reginald? I want to just only have heals. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now I should probably just do my aim shots. Yeah, just hit him. Because now he doesn't have thorns. Honestly, sad thing is. You have to defend yourself. You should probably do something for Reginald. Mm hmm. Hmm. He doesn't have thorns. I just, just start getting zap happy. Well, charge battery first. Yeah. I have enough for a frost bolt. Yeah, you might as well. Yeah, ouch, those four flames. What does he have? Furious Yulmer. Gain 11. What is that kind of power boost? And dispel stuff? Insane. Yeah, so that doesn't matter. Fury increases his damage by 33%. Which, on top of powerful... Like, it's rough. Mm hmm. Also, gonna do deep roots, impaling roots. Anyone you want a barrier? Oh, no, you can't. He can't. He has minimal energy. There he is. He's furious. Rude. Oh, that's not fun. The bleed? No, he goes first. Oh, he's shackled all of us. Yeah, so he is at maximum damage. Uh-oh. Oh, no! He ain't dead yet. Can you... You can't possibly defend against that, though, can you? Uh, Cause it's, I can bleed. only heal. So you're pretty much just going to have to heal him with Reginald. Yeah. That bleed is upon the next turn. Mm-hmm. Is that what it is? Yeah. So. Okay, it's... should I just poison dart him? He doesn't have any thorns. Yeah, yeah, I, I go full poison. Poison is shot or ice shot? I'll probably poison a shot, right? Uh... Or should I do an ice shot to prepare for... Evelyn? Yeah, I go for the ice shot. It does more damage. Like, we're, we're limited on time here. We might be able to just kill him. Hmm... I only have batteries and yeah. elemental wards. I mean, he's still wet, so it takes. So some I damage. would, uh, I would shield up. Who? Uh, anybody but Magnus, because there's there is the possibility Magnus just. So dies. Reginald. Yeah. And probably Reginald. 
And then maybe Evelyn? Yeah, or, sure. Or Andrin? Either or. Mm. Ah, I don't know. Because, yeah, if we get really unlucky, uh, I draw no heals and can't do anything. Okay, we are you good. You flash. And you have barriers. And that poison is nine. Yeah, so we get this. Barely. I think we even kill him. Without losing anybody. We're in round nine. Slice him. Which is poor. Just slice? Yeah. Slice and dice. Not uh, even I the guess Hunter's, Hunter's mark. mark. But he's almost dead. Uh-huh. There. Victory. Yulmer. Got Yulmer. What a jerk. Mana surge. Wait, what's jump four? Repeat the card's effect to another card, target card time, wait, X times. Each time damage and heal done is a plus bon percentage bonus. Oh, interesting. Back monster, toxic strike, applies 12 poison. And then there's poison spray, deal three random monster. No, I don't like that. Should I do toxic strike? That might be good against bosses. What do you think? Uh, let's see. Sorry. Let's look. So, Toxic Strike, 13 damage, 12 poison, or Poison Spray. I, I like Toxic Strike more. Nope, I would actually say Poison Spray. But well, that's random monster. Yeah, so... Repeat mm, two. Yeah, so the thing is, they both apply about the same effects. The one thing I will say is Poison Spray benefits from Hunter's Mark better. But you are correct, Toxic Strike lets you select a specific monster, whereas Poison Spray is just random monsters. Mm hmm mm-hmm. Yeah. Though Toxic Strike is just back monster. Mm-hmm. Uh, up to you. Back monster is almost always the boss. Mm-hmm. I mean, the whole repeat, though. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I'll do Toxic Strike. Yeah. Ooh, what's clear instructions? Discover three skill... Wait, cards? And place one on top of your deck? Nah. So I'd say Mana Surge is probably better. Curse of Vulnerability, deal 20 shadow, and then apply Vulnerable. Mm -hmm. But Mana Surge is interesting. It does yeah. vanish after use, though. Yeah. So, how do... Repeat the card's effect to another target how many times? But how do I apply this to another so card? So, effectively, this gives uh, five random heroes, uh, or five instances of that energy-boosting buff. And it'll just randomly jump between heroes. So, effectively, when you play the card, its effects happen five times to just random people. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Which is actually pretty good. Okay, I'll take it. The path is clear. Yulmer will never wake up again. A shame that once a tall and wise treant like him had to end this way because of the mysterious reactivation of the obelisk. Between Yilmer's roots, you see a large golden chest appear. You are one step closer to your objective. Loot. Inside the chest, you find some golden shards, but also a good amount of magic items that have been long forgotten hidden between Yilmer's roots. Hey, so we get some supplies. We level up. And these are really good. Ooh. I like all the root-themed gear. Yeah. When you play a healing spell, gain one regen. I mean, that's just insanely good. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, Soul Root and Yulmer's Branch are good for healers. Wait, no, actually, it's Yulmer's Branch. Oh, wow. This is, across the board, amazing. Because I'll take the Shield of Thorns. Whenever you play a defense, gain two thorns, which is pretty much constant on him. Ah, so then you will have thorns. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. 
Wait, what's gain one evasion? Oh, cloak of evasion. I wouldn't get it. Um, I know, I'm just looking around. Oh, that's gain two quickness. He doesn't have a ring yet. Should I just pick up the ring for him? He doesn't have anything, and getting more HP and some quickness isn't bad. Yeah, it's not terrible. Okay, so what can she get? I'd give her the Yggdrasil root. Oh, that's interesting. The spyglass is considered a potion. Well, yeah, it's an accessory, but I'd say the Yggdrasil oh, root the Yggdrasil, is better. Oh, the Yggdrasil root is also one, yeah. Yeah, because it gives you a little bit of thorns, but also for regen, which translates to what? Seven or eight HP? Uh, no, actually, it's more than that. So that's it's, at combat that's 10 start. HP. Yeah, but you effectively heal 10 HP per combat. Ah, uh, just right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Wait, I get to level up? Yeah. Oh, 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 look at this! I can elusive at the start of combat gain one evasion, or combat ready at the start of combat gain one energize. Oh, that's amazing. Which one? Oh, I'm energize? just looking at the next level. Level three? Reduce the cost of melee attack cards or defensive cards, which is just obscenely good for this dude. Now, I haven't seen evasion come into play. Really. Yeah. I've never seen someone just dodge a move. Is that even possible? I. It's a buff. So, so should I do... What about energy? Oh, gain one extra energy per charge at the start of the turn. So evasion effectively makes it so you you just the first attack that it that goes for him misses. I go combat ready. That just gives him one extra energy at the start of a round. Yeah. Cautious at the start of combat game to buffer. I've never heard of I buffer. I go clever. Uh, so buffer prevents one harmful effect per charge. So effectively you avoid the first two debuffs. Oh, so this just gains a card. Mm -hmm. So you Whereas say buffer is better. No, I would say clever. Clever? Oh, yeah, once, once per, per turn. turn you play a skill. Yeah, draw one card. So if you have a bunch of cheap cards especially, you can just... Play them all. Mm -hmm. All right, so we get we just go to the obelisk, right? Yep. we go to the obelisk. Oh, yes. The Sanenthia obelisk. You are in front of the obelisk. After centuries of inactivity, it is now brimming with energy, and its runes engraved in the stone shine brightly. When you read the runes aloud, the obelisk wall warps and distorts, creating two portals. One of the portals is reddish, and hot air comes out of it. The other portal is greenish, and gives off a strong smell of stagnant water. Ooh, so fire realm and water realm? Yeah, I'd say fire? Would we be equipped to face fire? I'm better I think... equipped to face fire than I am poison. Yeah, that's true. So you want to go into the red portal? Yeah, also the mountain, I think, has the golem core that we're looking for. Oh, you're right. You cross the portal when you realize you're already in another place. Cool. So they actually have branching yeah. paths? Yeah, so much like the map, you also branch path. Oh, these are the Velkarath Mountains. Mm -hmm. Act 2, the Velkarath Mountains. The group went across the obelisk, and in an instant, they found themselves elsewhere, far away from the Sanenthia Forest. One of the mysteries of the obelisk was revealed. In ancient times, the obelisk was used as a means of transport since reaching this land by road would have taken months. The group looked for signs that the princess and Lord Hanshek had passed through this place, but with no luck, it didn't seem like anyone had been there in a long time. Luckily, on the horizon, they saw that there was another obelisk that also seemed to be active. Their only hope now was to reach it and try their luck with another destination. 